Sandra Cousineau with Las Vegas Sports Biz. Hi there, Michelle. How are you? Good. Good to see your face today. Um, question. First question for me is you were part of some of the early cards in Jacksonville in the smaller cage. Did you learn anything in that fight that actually you deemed to be helpful going into Apex? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, just kind of being comfortable with the idea that there isn't a crowd being comfortable with the idea that I could hear my corner and, and she could hear my corner. Um, understanding that I had to draw um, energy from different places other than the, um, the crowd. All those small little things, you know, play a factor and definitely uh, we were able to, to kind of fine tune how we trained in order to prepare ourselves for that. Second question is, in addition to some adjustments you've had to make in your career due to the pandemic, you're also a mom of a young daughter. I know a lot of schools are doing things a little differently. Um, can you talk me through some of the challenges that you face having a daughter while you're also trying to figure out um, this kind of new era in your career? Um, you know, there's so many things that happen in my fight career that I learned that I can then transfer over into um, life lessons for myself and for, for my family and for my daughter. Um, something that really stuck out to me is how courageous and brave the UFC was in stepping outside of the comfort zone of the pandemic and, and moving forward and pressing forward and figuring out a way to, to give us all work and allow us all to continue to pursue our passions during this pandemic, it, um, it, it really inspired me to, to instill that within my daughter. Okay, this has happened. This is out of our control. So now what can we do to grow from this versus allow it to make us submit to it? Um, there are always going to be problems in this world and you have to figure out as an individual, how are you going to deal with this problem and how are you going to overcome this problem? And so, you know, with the pandemic and my daughter, you know, getting over the hump of homeschooling and having her understand to be more uh, self-sufficient and having her be more outspoken when she's having trouble um, to her teacher over Zoom and to her parents, um, having her understand how to still socialize and connect with people over Zoom and, or, and while she's wearing a face mask and, and, and keeping her healthy and keeping her active. These are all things and keeping her under um, and teaching her the importance of nutrition and the importance of, of, of hygiene. These are all things that are going to help her in her future, regardless of what else is there to come. And finally, for me, um, about, I guess, going back to 2011, Dana was adamant that there weren't going to be women fighting in the UFC. And here you are on short notice headlining uh, a card. How does that feel for you? And do you think about those days when you thought maybe the door was closed? And, and do you embrace now how many opportunities you have in this promotion? It is the coolest thing in the world. I remember being in my apartment, moving out to Albuquerque, New Mexico, um, still being a local fighter and having a vision board in my apartment. And at that time, Dana didn't think that he'd ever see girls in there. And I still had it on my vision board that I was going to be fighting for the UFC. And here I am fighting for the main event. And it's amazing. Thank you, Michelle. Good luck Saturday. Thank you.